In the vehicle's powertrain, there is a mechanism that can be said to be quite complicated. However, this mechanism plays a very important role so that the vehicle can turn smoothly without one of the wheels slipping. This mechanism is usually called a differential system. So, why do vehicles need differentials? What is their function? And how do they work? Check out the following animation. We know that when a vehicle turns, there is a difference in the radius traveled by the right and left wheels. The inner wheel will travel a shorter distance than the outer wheel. Therefore, when turning, the outer wheel must rotate faster than the inner wheel so that there is no slippage. Now, to make it clearer, understand the following principle. This is the axle that connects the right and left wheels. And this will equalize the rotation of both wheels. But when we separate the axles, then we connect them with gears. It will separate the rotation of the right and left wheels. But in this position, we need two inputs to rotate both axles. How to make it rotate with only one input? We need to add a pinion gear to connect the right and left wheels. Then we add a main gear to rotate the pinion gear. So by rotating the pinion gear, we will rotate both axles simultaneously, and the speed is also the same. So what happens when we hold one of the wheels? If we hold the left wheel, it will stop the rotation of the left wheel. As a result, the pinion gear rotates. The rotation of the pinion gear will accelerate the rotation of the right axle. So this mechanism shows that by holding one wheel, it will not make the other wheel held back. Instead, it will speed up the rotation of the other wheel. This is the mechanism that allows the axle to move the rotation of the right and left wheels automatically. Now, let's go back to the following three-dimensional model of the axle. Behind this casing, there is a fairly complicated gear relationship. Let's dissect it one by one. We start from the right and left axles. At the end of the axle, there are teeth that will connect to the side gear so that the rotation of the side gear can be connected to the axle. Then there are two pinion gears to connect the right and left side gears. This is similar to what we discussed earlier. So this is the core of the axle mechanism that is able to distinguish the rotation of the right and left wheels. Then we have the differential housing. This housing is separate from the axle, so its rotation is also separate. Then to connect the housing to the pinion gear, we add a pinion gear shaft. So when we turn the housing, it will turn the pinion gear and the pinion gear will turn the right and left side gears at the same speed. When the vehicle turns left, the left wheel will be held back because of the shorter track. As a result, the rotation of the left side gear is heavier, which will turn the pinion gear. The rotation of the pinion gear will accelerate the rotation of the right side gear so that the rotation of the left axle is slower than the rotation of the housing. However, the right axle rotates faster than the rotation of the housing. Then to connect the rotation, we need to add a component, namely the final gear set. It consists of a ring gear that is connected to the differential housing and a drive gear that is connected to the propeller shaft. So the rotation flow is from the engine to the propeller shaft, then the rotation will be transmitted through the drive gear to the ring gear. Then the ring gear rotates the differential housing, and the differential housing will rotate the differential gear set, so that both wheels can rotate. That is an explanation of how the differential or axle works. Thank you for watching.